me Trace from Refurbish in the Middle, and I'm moving along on my on my bed. There's a headboard and a footboard. It'll be a whole bed. The side rails and everything will be all done. Um, but this is what I got on the side that you'll see, and um, I'm going over it with the golden ticket and a dry brush. See, I just I just have a little bit on there. And I did the back first, so that's why. I haven't done any in the front. I did put some of this golden ticket in there when I was blending. So, but I'm gonna add, now I'm just gonna add. So I thought I'd get on here and do a video and you could see, let me turn you right here, so you could see how I do it. Which is very, very easy. <laughs> I take my little chip brush and I try to go around before I actually blend any of my colors in all of this part. For me, I try to go around and highlight certain areas. And I was going around all this bed frame because I sanded it and some of the natural wood showing through too. And I just really like how it's all coming together. Um, they got these really nice little balls. Do you see those? Yeah. Here on there, on the end of the bed. Okay, that's good. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to add some there too. And this is what I do. I just sit here with, and I really am super dry brush. And I just sort of take my time and think, you know, where I want what I want more to stick out. And on from time to time, I do go in the other direction when I do these little round parts. And it sort of saves you from getting out another brush. And see how pretty that turned out? And, I'm, and I really am dry, dry, dry. See, there's no water. I just put a dribble of the golden ticket there. And this is all I'm going to do is just go, you know, highlight where I really want um, the gold to be highlighted. And after the video, I'll go back and make sure it blends, blends around with the back. The back doesn't have any um, stenciling. I just blended all the colors together, mishmashy and then I went over it with this golden ticket. I just dry brushed it. So I really am enjoying this. Um, I will get a smaller brush to go in there. I think I'll be too sloppy no matter how I try to get that. Here's another part too. I'm gonna like really super highlight here. And, and if you are doing something like this and you get too much, well, you can grab your sanding sponge and just sand it back and then go ahead and um, go over it again. And when I go to do all this, I'll probably push these out a little. Well, I'll just go ahead and do it. Um, I'll push a few out, not all of it, just in certain areas because you want it to look natural because nothing... Um, goes together you know through the ages everything deteriorates at a different rate so the paint doesn't all fall off most of the time at one time so and I'm just gonna go over all these stencils or yeah stencils I'm sorry I used two different stencils that I had and I'm just gonna lightly dry brush over all of this just to put a little twinkle where it's not it doesn't have a gold medallion that can happen okay let's see is that a little better let's go up here too to the top so we'll do some work on that i have this cute little bench i guess i need to get little wheels on it okay let's see i guess okay here i am hard for me to tell i think i have my camera on there backwards let's see I'm going to go ahead and just hit in here, get a little more on there. And this is so dry that it's barely putting any on. It's just like, do like when you're stenciling your actual stencil, you know how you load your brush up and you just go and go and go and go and go until it's absolutely dry. 
And that's how you can keep your dry, your brush dry when you're dry brushing. Because you can get your brush a little wet having too much product on there, even if you're dry brushing. So I hope that makes sense to you. Because <laughs> it makes sense to me. All right, let's see. I can't. I am really backwards on this camera. I'm going to go ahead and get across here, too. And then I'm going to go like that. So I don't, I didn't want to, I don't want to leave any up runs. But I sort of wanted it to look almost like a crosshatch, but, but not a crosshatch. This. this is going to be such a cute bed. The footboard has some, um, wood a little bit this is a pennsylvania house bed and it has um a footboard and there's a, a little bit about half of this so i can put some of these medallions on here i'm going to go ahead and try to hit these up just like i did those ones over there i hope you can see it's, it is true. You really need a person to uh, help you with just, just the camera half the time. I'm going to put a little bit in this direction. And then sort of blend it in so it's not like in a direction. It just makes it look like it's been worn. I'll tell you, I just can't get over this golden ticket. I just love this product. I love it. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead. I don't know if you can see. There's this part down here. I guess you're not seeing it very good, but let's see. Let's go. Okay. Go. I'm going to switch sides. It's turning out great. What do y'all think? I hope you're seeing the bed. Yeah. I'm switching sides so you can see it a little better. I have my camera on there backwards. Okay. So now I've basically done everywhere where I wanted it to make an outline or be heavier. I'll probably go along here a little more this way and pull that there but what I'm going to do too is I'm just going to gently gently dry brush over the whole thing it's hard to see because it's barely going now but it'll you'll see it in a minute because I'll, I'll build it up it's better to not have enough because you can always go back and add more Okay, and here's a good example. I sort of hit it there real thick. I don't know if that's coming up on the camera. Just take your little sand block and gently, don't go real heavy, but if you want to, if you go heavy, you can go down to the wood and that'll look equally as nice. There, I took that down and got to the red because I used, um, uh, Marquis, Marquis. I'm, you'll have to beg my pardon because I'm still trying to learn all the names to this, the DIY paint. And then you can just go right back over with your dried brushing. And that's a nice thing too because when you're layering colors, sometimes these little mistakes will work for you in your, you know, in the scheme of everything. So... That looks, I know I see that looks a little redder there, but 
overall when I take the big picture you'll see it you won't even pay it you know you won't even pay it any attention all right so I just thought I'd show you how this was coming along I don't think I'm gonna sand this down I'm probably gonna let it dry a couple days and I am gonna wax it um, yeah that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna wax it up and um, probably hemp oil wax but um, I'll do a video on that too so you guys can see how good it turns out. All right, y'all.